All right, welcome back. So in this episode, I am going to show you how to convert uh, JSON into um, XML uh, for basically a P list or property list. So let's go ahead and import UI kit, which should already be there and uh, import foundation and playground support. I am doing it, this in playground. Um, it's just easier if you just wanna create a file uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to bring in our uh, JSON. I'm actually going to create some new files here. And I'm going to bring in some JSON. And I got this, this JSON, a, a portion of this actually, from um, a list of city codes from Open Weather Map. Um, so I'm just going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to rename my file. So I'm going to name it city.json um, because that is the file type. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So we have our JSON here, but you can use whatever JSON you have. Just make sure it's in the right format. So here we have um, coordinates, which is a nested uh, value. And I'll show you um, how to get this out and in the right. Uh, data type because we also have ID here, we have name, we have the country and the coordinates, which will be in, uh, we should change to a double. Um, I always remove that K there. I don't know why that went in there like that. Okay, so we got that. So the next thing we do is go back <laughs> and create some code. So the first thing we need to do is we need to bring in this file that we have here in our resources. So let's do a guard statement. And we're going to do this as file URL. And um, the way to, to obtain it is we're actually going to use bundle main.url because we have to bring in the URL for this work. And we need four resource with extension. So the resource name is city and the extension is JSON. And then uh, because it's a guard statement, we also need to do else. I want to forgot to make this bigger. All right, <laughs> a lot better. All right, so else, and then um, I'm just gonna do fatal error and that will output um, in our um, thing here. And another thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna do manually run because I'm gonna be doing some work here. So I don't want to keep trying to run. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I also need to create a placeholder for when I actually do the conversion. I need it to go ahead and save into a different file so I can use it later. So let's go ahead and create that, um, that path to where we're gonna save the information or the conversion. So I'm gonna do a plist URL, because I'm gonna create a plist. And I'm going to do a playground shared data directory. And basically it's a URL for the directory for where data, uh, for <laughs> where data which is shared between play all play playgrounds are stored. So if you ever want to store something or you have data and you want to get to it, that's how you get to it. That's why I brought in uh, playground support. I'm going to do dot pending path component. Um, it's actually not going to be a directory. It's actually just going to be the path itself. Actually, I do need that. I need this one. So the path is going to be um, test city p list and is directory is true. So that's what I want the name to be. Okay. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to pull out the data from our file here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we do let uh, JSON data equal try, because we need to try and make sure that we can actually do it. So it might not exist, but I mean, we know it exists. Um, contents of, and then we do file URL. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is, I need, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because like if you're for doing conversion, you can do a direct conversion in, in terminal using a command line, but sometimes you want to set the data types. So, I'm going to do a struct, a structure here, and I'm going to make it C, because that's the name of it, <laughs> of the data coming in, and it's going to be codable. And what codable is, it's basically a type that can convert itself into and out of an external representation. 
Let's get our curly brackets and let's look at our data one more time. So we have idea, I mean ID, <laughs> name, country, our coordinates, and inside our coordinates we have longitude and latitude. So let's go back and let's go ahead and create uh, some properties here. So uh, make sure these properties match the data that's in the JSON. So um, ID, ID is in there. We're going to do an integer because that's the what it looks like it is. It's an integer. Um, it's not a uh, string because it doesn't have the um, the quote marks, quotation marks. Uh, so that's going to be um, you're going to do name is going to be string. It's the name of the city and the country is also a string. And then we do coordinates, and that's C-O-R-D, I believe. Let's just make sure. Yep. Okay. So um, here, actually, I wanted to create a special type or actually another structure for our coordinates. So I'm going to actually do coordinates, and I'm going to create another structure here, which is coordinates. And that's going to be of type I'm going to do latitude and longitude, which is double. All right. So another thing I need to do um, All right. So we got those. So the next thing I do I need to do is actually I need to make an extension. Uh, this extension is basically going to allow me to write to the temporary directory in a playground. So let's do an extension on the data type. And if you're wondering, okay, what what, what do you mean by data type? So if you notice up here, I did have it. I do have a data type, and that is a type data. So I'm adding an extension to this type which will allow me to actually um, save it. So I'm going to create a method here. I was going to do um, write to temp path, uh, playground path. And let's give it a with name, name, string. And this is going to return a URL. All right, so first thing I need to do is create a constant URL that will actually be the URL for our temporary directory. So do URL, and we're going to do URL file with path, and um, I'm going to do ns temporary directory dot, actually, let's close that, do dot append, appending path component with string and that string name is name which is from our parameters up here then we're going to try to write to that location so we're going to do try we're going to try hard <laughs> uh, and we do write to url um, and that url is url and do options, which is atomic right. Now, if you're wondering about anything, you know, just hover over it. But basically, it's um, the NS writing options. Okay, and then the next thing I need to do is I need to return my URL so that we can retrieve what we converted. All right, and that should do it. Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, create. Um, an array now to hold, temporarily hold our um, cities. So I'm going to do var cities. I'm going to do an array. I'm going to specify its type, which is a, a, which is city, which is the structure above. And I'm going to create just an empty array. So it's all ready to go. Next thing I need to do is I need to do a JSON decoder or JSON decoder. So I'm going to do let JSON decoder equal json decoder 
Again, if you're wondering about anything, just hold down that option key and hover over. Basically what it is, it facilitates the decoding of JSON into somatic, see, somatic decodable types. <laughs> All right. And now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to decode um, the data that's in our file. So I'm going to do cities equals try our JSON decoder. No. There it goes. There we go. Decode. And I need to do our array, our square brackets. with the city type, the dot self from our JSON data from above. So our JSON data right here. Okay. Then the next thing I need to do is I also need to do um, the setup for property list. So again, we need to do just a constant with plist uh, encoder, and that is a type property list encoder. And basically, what is it? it facilitates the encoding the encodable values into property lists, which is pretty cool. And um, then we need to set the plist encoder's output type or output format and it is going to be an XML. Again, if you have any questions about any of this, just hover over, over it <laughs> and look into the documentation. So um, the next thing you need to do, I was gonna do like an if let statement. Uh, just in case this fails, I don't want it to completely like crap out on me. So um, we're gonna do an if let statement. And then we're going to attempt to try. And we're gonna do plist encoder dot encode and then we need to do cities. Do our curly brackets. And then um, we're going to do, let's see here. We're going to do a print statement. Uh, but basically what this is going to do is it's going to output um, our list. So we're gonna do plist here, dot write, to no, write a write to temporary playground path with name, and we're going to give our file a name. So I'm going to do um, just city.plist as its name. Okay, and what will happen here is this will actually output a path for us to go find our information. Um, another thing we can also do is we can uh, take a look at the a conversion itself and one way to do that is just to uh, convert the plist um, into a string so I'm gonna do an if let statement again just in case it fails and we do string data plist encoding because we have to set the encoding to utf8 and if it all goes well we can print it out string. So we have two things uh, outputting here. So actually before we go there, let's see this is supposed to be JSON decoder. All right. So let's go ahead and try this out and see uh, if, if it actually does it what it needs to do and it does. So here is our um, JSON changed into XML for a plist. So you see plist version one there. And just check it real quick. We see Frank Farrell mine right here, which is the first one, which is correct. We have our integer as a key. And then if we look down a little bit further, we have our coordinates and we see we have latitude and longitude. 
And uh, we can look up here and see longitude is actually I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> All right, right here. <laughs> so it's eight and fifty, which is right. Okay, so I think we're ready to go, and we're going to go ahead and print this out. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. And as you see, for the down here, we have our file. So uh, basically what you can do is just you can just copy all of this here and bring up your terminal. And you can do open and then paste. And there is our P list. There we go. All right, so I've shown you how to convert a uh, JSON into a P list. Um, if you're wondering when and how you should use P lists, in this case, this is a city um, list of um, basically city codes from um, Open Weather. I think it's openweather.org, I believe. Um, so basically, a user can enter in a city code or a city name, and everything is already in the system. Um, it makes it a lot easier instead of using like location manager. So there's different reasons why you would want to use a P list. So in my case, this is perfect, um, but I just wanted to put put that out there that you can convert in between a JSON and XML or P list in this example, but you can convert anything. And so hopefully this has helped you out. Um, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Uh, if it's helped you at all, uh, and then subscribe if you want to be informed when I upload new videos. All right, friends, keep calm and code on.